Graph the following function. Be sure to graph its parent graph, then show its translation and transformation. In this case, they are wanting to graph the parent graph first, or the parent function. In this case, the parent function will be f of x equal to x squared. Now, if I plug in a 0, it gives me a 0. Plug in a 1, gives me a 1, and I'm going to reflect it. I'm going to use the first one in red. I'm going to graph the parent graph in red. If I plug in a 2, it gives me a 4, so 2, 4, and I'm going to reflect it. If I plug in a 3, 1, 2, 3, it gives me a 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and then I'm going to reflect it. So this is my parent graph. Now, I need to find out how many components do we have. Uh, we have the negative 5, the negative 3, the 2, and the negative. So there's going to be four different translation transformations, four different changes to the graph. So the first one, that's a negative 5. It's outside the parentheses, so we be shifting it up or down because it's subtracting. In this case, it's negative, so it's going to be down 5, shifted down 5. The negative 3 is inside the parentheses, it's subtracting, so it's still going to be a shift. But in this case, it will be left or right. It's a negative 3, so it will be shifted to the right 3. The 2, it's outside. It's multiplying, so it's going to be a transformation. Remember, whenever it's outside, it's going to be a vertical transformation. And because it's times 2, it will be vertical stretch. by 2, right? And the negative, it's outside, so it's going to be a reflection on the x-axis. So basically, it's just going to be facing down. So let's see. So my it will be down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and to the right 3, 1, 2, 3. Very close stretch by 2, and reflect it. So I'm going to have to do both of them at the same time. The first point is 1 over, but it's going to be reflected 1, and I'm going to multiply by 2, so it'll be 2 over. It. The second point is 1, 2, 3, 4. So in this case, it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, but I need to multiply by 2, so it'll be 8. I'm just going to place them in the middle. And that'll be my graph. Remember to show me the transformation so you can just show me the arrows. And that'll be your parent graph. And I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but here it is. So first, down into the right three. I'm gonna have to do my vertical stretch and my reflection at the same time. So the first point is to the right one, so to the right one. It's up one. Multiply by 2 will be 2, but then reflect it, so it'll be down 2, and then the line of symmetry. Do the same thing with the next one. It's away 2, away 2. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. Multiply by 2 gives me 8, but in this case, reflect it, so it'll be down 8. And those are my points.